Alrighty, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Wolfman Walsh here, as always. And as you saw from the short uh, earlier last week, we have a new CGRB, and it is the Dirk Pinkerton designed resource. Look at that large Mamma Jamma right there. Woo! Originally saw this thing, uh, I think Knife Center did the original video from Blade Show 2023, uh, where they showed off this knife. It was in a uh, green G10 handle, and they said that the steel was either gonna be in D2 or, or ARRPM9. So now I have the official one. It is in the ARRPM9. And it did come in a couple of uh, color patterns, we we'll say, uh, for the G10. They had a green, I think they had a black, and what they're calling gray. I, it's a, it's a blue gray. It's, it's almost look. This is blue. See that? That's blue. That's gray. So, you put it next to gray, it looks kind of gray. You put it next to blue, it looks kind of blue. They're calling it gray. I don't know. Anyway stepped g10 handles look at that and it's actually really comfortable it's not contoured it's not round it is it is stepped and uh, it actually feels really really good this is a rather large uh, knife overall uh, i think it's 4.2 inches 4.15 somewhere in the neighborhood uh, on the blade uh, itself so it is pretty large uh you know, some of you all may not be able to get this because of that, but look at the size of that fuller. Both sides, big fuller. That's wonderful. You can finger flick this thing from the fuller if you wanted to with a little wrist action, um, but I just prefer the good old thumb stud. Man, does that thing fly open. Like very little effort, and it just right on out. Even with uh, kind of doing a spidey flick or just a middle finger thumb stud from behind, push it right out. It's great. It almost feels assisted. It is not. It is a liner lock. Uh, oh, I wanted to talk about this. I said this in the short. Uh, I think I said this in the short that I was like, oh no, look at this pocket clip. It's, it's curved this way. That won't fit on this side. How is a left-handed or left pocket person going to carry this? So, what I ended up doing was actually going through the box. You know, most of the time I don't go through the box because I think some of this stuff or most of this stuff is just useless or unnecessary. Nice little cloth here. Actually has the little CGRB on there. Um, that seems different or new. I'm not really sure. But hidden down here in this pocket, the knife was on this side, and it was a, kind of a struggle to get out, is another pocket clip and it is actually uh, the opposite it is a mirror image of that one so it will fit on this side so good call throwing that in there I just missed that on the unboxing video so that's that's my bad I typically do at least look through these uh, I think I was just overly excited to get this thing open the day it came in so I completely missed that so my bad my apologies oh, look there well, that's new too. I didn't, okay, this is the top of the box. I did this, I took it off, set it down just like that. Didn't even notice there's stuff on the inside here too. All right, you can pause to read that if you want to. I'm not gonna read that to you, but okay, pretty cool. All right, sorry, moving on. Um, yeah, is there anything else I forgot to mention? I said it was Dirk Pinkerton. This is my second Dirk Pinkerton. I also have the uh, Kaiser uh, Urban Bowie, I keep I keep wanting to call it what I call it. It's the Lakota mod. Uh, if you saw those videos, that's the Lakota mod. That was also a Dirk Pinkerton design. So uh, this is my second Dirk Pinkerton uh, knife, and it's awesome. Uh, I'm really digging what he's putting out. Um, it is on it is on bearings, so ceramic bearings in there. 
Another reason it flies out as well as it does. I, you know, I'm still, I'm still kind of out. I'm still on the fence. I understand that uh, the washers, uh, for cleaning purposes, if it's getting really dirty, the washers are easier for maintenance. Um, but the, you know, the ball bearings help it uh, in deployment. So I have some that I really like that are on ball bearings. I have some that are really like that are on washers. So, um, you know, I'm not really going to vote on that either way. I know some people are diehard. No, I just do this or I just do that. Uh, I will say Enzo uh, called me out on, he asked, you know, what is my most favorite or preferred method of deployment uh, for a knife? And the answer is thumb studs. Flippers are fine, um, you know, but some of them aren't flippers, they're pushers or they're, you know, thumb flippers and, you know, or, you know, the front flippers, top rollers, whatever you want to call them. Not a big fan of that. Uh, I'm still not a Spyderco guy I and mean, it's fine. If you are, I mean, most of the world is, you know, and I still call that a Spidey flick because that's just what I've heard it referred to so many times. But um, even other knives that have some sort of hole in that general area that aren't Spyderco related, thumb stud is still, for me, the preferred uh, method of deployment. So anyway, uh, how much was this thing? This was $69.99. Uh, plus tax and all that. I think it came to 74, 76, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, and I got this day one from the Artisan Cutlery website before it went on sale um, at Knife Center, or Blade HQ, anywhere. So um, I think they ran, I think, I think Artisan ran it for a couple of days. I know it was at least three days. It may have been a week. I'm not really sure. But I remember they said that they were going to run it first, and they did. So I bought this directly from Artisan. Uh, it arrived a few days. It arrived before they went live on the other sites. So pretty, pretty happy with this. Uh, I've carried it for about a week now. Who else got one? Uh, anyone else pick up one? Did you get one in the blue-gray, or did you get one in the green? Um, or what other color? Whatever other color... Is, is showing up on the screen here. Uh, and I also know this is the satin finish. They also had a, a PVD coated. Did uh, y'all get that one? I'm pretty stoked with this one. Uh, you know, I may darken these handles up. I may uh, end up modding this one and uh, dipping this in some navy blue just to make this, this darker. I don't feel like I'm going to do anything. I'm not going to acid wash, stone wash, nothing like that. I like the blade uh, as is. I like everything else about this knife as is so yeah all right well once again i'm wolf men walsh like and subscribe if you haven't already leave us a comment let us know if you got one of these uh, and what knife that you're looking forward to black friday's coming up in about a month um is there a black friday purchase that you're looking forward to let us know uh, we'll see if we've got it or if we can get a hold of it anyway thanks for stopping by we'll see you next time take care